Hey, welcome back to the series that we've been doing on the Tortured Poets Department. I've been going track by track to see if I can find a deeper meaning with energy of the songs. Today we're on the next track of the anthology side of the album, and the song is titled The Albatross. Um, so I really don't know what we're getting into with this one, so let's just get straight into it. Wise men on set, wild winds are death to the candle Ooh. rose by. Folklore? Evermore? I think that might have been the whole verse and chorus because uh, it did mention the albatross. So let's look up those lyrics and see if we can decode this. Okay, so the lyric says, wise men once said, wild winds are death to the candle. A rose by any other name is a scandal. Caution issued, he stood shooting the messengers. They tried to warn him about her. Cross your thoughtless heart. Only liquor anoints you. She's the albatross. She's here to destroy you. Um, okay. So this definitely, I just want to say, this definitely sounds like my baby Evermore. So I'm already going to be a little into it. Um, there has some really specific wording and it just gives me the whole Evermore folklore vibes here already. Um, but looking at that first line where it says, wise men once said, um, there are quotes again, which makes me think of kind of like Clarabella, just like how that was set up, not at all sounding or anything to do with each other, but just noticing that there's quotes here. Wise men, I'm gonna say interesting, I guess, but she does mention that in, um, what song was it where it says like, boys will be boys, but where are the wise men? And that was kind of a play on saying like, you know, you excuse boys behavior, but like at a certain point, when do they grow up? And when do they become these said wise men? So I don't know if she's meaning it yet exactly that they're actually wise men, or is this another play on and saying like, look, there's these peep self-proclaimed wise men who know something, but they're probably actually gonna be end up wrong. I'm anticipating them being wrong with whatever they're saying, but that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, but wild winds are death to the candle. That definitely makes me think of um, a recurring theme also without through the album of like, but maybe not theme, but I guess something that I kind of mentioned, there's a couple songs that just gave me like outlaw vibes. And this feels like something like a cowboy like me where wild winds are people that are like independent or, you know, not someone that you necessarily tie down. So like wild winds are death to the candle. I'm kind of thinking of like, you know, the candle is, you know, st stability or something like that. And the wild winds are the person that is, you know, like, again, they're gonna come and ruin a good thing because it kind of goes into something like that where it says, a rose by any other name is a scandal. Cautions issued, he stood, shooting the messengers. They tried to warn him about her. So it seems like there's a group of guys or whatever you want to say, metaphor wise, telling this person like, you know, watch out for this type of, I'm going to say girl, but person, whatever, watch out for this type of person. Um, it will cause you a scandal. There's something about this person. They Cautions were issued, he stood shooting the messengers. So he kind of plays it off and he's like, y'all are just exaggerating. This is not true. This person is good. Like he's maybe choosing to see the best in this person that's coming into his life um, because they tried to warn him about her. But cross your thoughtless heart. I guess you, you thoughtless heart makes me think of you ignored the signs. You ignored the red flags. You were thinking with your heart rather than your head. Um, only liquor anoints you. Um, I'm assuming that just means like pushing you more to do it. Liquor is not helping <laughs> the situation. Um, she's the albatross and she's here to destroy you. So again, the wild wind has come into his life, rolled into town. Everyone warned them that this is not a good person to be with. He ignored it. He's with this person and she's going to destroy you. Um, I would like to look up for lore purposes, like the actual meaning of albatross. I'm pretty sure that's like a bird. Like I've seen that through my comment section and maybe just like in general, but I really don't know anything else about the word the albatross and I'll admit that. So before we go any further, I just want to see what the albatross, if there's something there that we don't know. Um, so look, there's a there's something right here where it says the story of the albatross 
um, it's a poem, The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner, um, tells the story of a sailor who shoots a friendly albatross, cursing himself and his crew. As punishment, he's forced to wear it around his neck. Okay. Maybe that's where we're referencing. I'm not sure if that's what Taylor Swift's referencing here. Um, but knowing that, that plays into what I was saying about the wise men maybe being wrong, because if it has anything to do with that poem, you know, saying wise men once said that, you know, this person's bad, this person's blah, 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 all these bad things. And then if it's based on that poem, they were actually wrong the whole time. This albatross, this person was a, maybe something good and they heard it or did something to like make it worse, I guess. Um, but before we get too far down a theory that we don't even know, uh, let's just keep listening to the actual song. I don't know where to stop. Okay, I feel like that was a good place maybe to stop now. Um, the second verse says, wise men once said, one bad seed kills the garden, one less temptress, one less da dagger to sharpen. Locked me up in towers, but I'd visit in your dreams, and they tried to warn you about me. Cross your thoughtless heart, only liquor anoints you, she's the albatross, she's here to destroy you. Devils that you know, raise worse hell than a stranger, she's the death you chose, you're in table. Tell you're in terrible danger, and when that sky rains fire on you and your persona non grata, I'll tell you how I've been there too, and that none of it matters. Okay, that is so evermore. And I'm honestly seeing some like reputation undertones here because, but we'll get into that. But going back to the beginning where it says one bad seed kills the garden. I definitely have heard that saying, and I, I kind of think of it in like a student classroom kind of thing. And I know that's not what she's referring to, but in my head, I'm like one bad seed kills the garden. It's like when you're in that group setting and you're kind of like, it's dependent on like one person, you know, gets the class in trouble. Like, you know, when like a teacher would walk out of a room and then like someone cuts up and then they come up and then ev the whole class is punished for recess or something like that. But just having that thought in your head being like, look, this one person, this person that they've all been telling is such bad news is going to ruin it for the rest of us. Do, do not engage with this because we don't want to have to deal with the repercussions of your actions because that's kind of like what's gonna happen here. One less temptress, one less dagger to sharpen. So temptress is like someone that's going to keep you wanting to come back for more. They're going to just keep destroying you, I guess, if this albatross is so bad as they're saying, um, but one less dagger to sharpen. So it's like, if you do not engage, we don't have to burn this witch, which kind of makes me think of a little bit of reputation where, you know, they're burning all of the witches, even if you aren't one. And I feel like that is the perfect description, at least of what we know so far that, you know, in I did something bad and a lot of the themes of reputation, you're going into that knowing she's a good person, but no one believes her in that sense. And it seems like a pretty similar case scenario here. She's the albatross. She has this bad reputation, but maybe in the end, she's actually not as bad as people thought. Um, locked me up in towers, but I'd visit in your dreams and they tried to warn you about me. So again, that I feel like that's just reiterating the same thing is that people scorned me, told me I was bad. They locked me up almost like that golden cage in reputation, but um, look which movie do, I'm sorry. Uh, but still locked her away, but I visit your dreams. That kind of makes me think that it's still inevitable or like nothing's gonna stop. You know, again, the inevitable, it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna visit you in your dreams and you're gonna find a way to see me 
or break her out of her that cage at some point in time. And then it kind of goes back into that chorus, but something I thought was interesting too was, devils that you know raise worse hell than a stranger. She's the death you chose, you're in terrible danger. So I feel like that could have a double meaning here because it's saying that raise worse hell than a stranger. So if you think about it in the sense of the wise men in Taylor Swift or the albatross or whatever you want to call that enigma, I guess, but um, the people that you know, the people that are closest to you, those wise men are going to raise worse hell than a stranger. They're the ones that are, it's like, keep your enemies close, but your friends closer because, or however that saying goes, where it's like the, your inner circle are usually the ones that are more out to get you in certain circumstances. And seeing that those wise men have really just plugging this person's head with bad thoughts, they're going to raise worse hell than a stranger. But I guess you could see the dual side of that where after she's the death you chose, you're in terrible danger. So I think it's more about those wise men, but you chose to make that stranger, that albatross, that Taylor Swift, that person, you chose them. So now they are no longer a stranger and they're gonna raise worse hell. So I can see it being on both sides where either way you're saying, whoever you choose to bring into your life are gonna bring you terrible danger, whether that's from the misinformation, whether that's the act, maybe it was the truth. Maybe this albatross was bad the whole time. It just like, it's making you kind of think of like, what's gonna be the end result here. Okay. Turned. So I my Wait, what? I love a Taylor Swift twist. Wow. Okay. Will I say that it was like a completely unbeknown to me twist? No. I feel like I was kind of expecting that to flip, you know, the whole time, but it still doesn't change the excitement of when you see a Taylor Swift flip in the bridge. Um, but going back to reading the bridge, it said, or last, ver last verse and then the bridge or whatever you want to say. Um, Wise men once read fake news and they believed it. Jackals raised their hackles. They couldn't conceive it. You were sleeping soundly when they dragged you from your bed, and I tried to warn you about them. So I crossed my thoughtless heart, spread my wings like a parachute. I'm the albatross. I swept in at the rescue. The devil that you know now looks more like an angel. And the life I'm the life you chose in all of this ter I'm the life you chose in all of this terrible danger. So cross your thoughtless heart. She's the albatross. She's here to destroy you. I love that. Um, but going back, so these wise men once read these fake news. So they got t twisted, they got some information that's gonna make them turn on that person that has been, you know, been with the albatross, the other guy I'm assuming in the situation, and you couldn't conceive it, you were sleeping soundly in the bed when they dragged you from your bed. So these wise men, the people that I was saying, like keep your enemies close, but not your, but your inner circle, I still can't get that saying right, but whatever you wanna say, those wise men that once were friends or those people that you thought you could trust were the exact opposite. They heard one piece of information and didn't even have the courtesy to come talk to you first about it. They literally completely turned on you. Um, this definitely sounds like olden time music. Um, I guess that's ever more, but like the word usage and like kind of makes me think of an old time period. So I would assume that dragging from your bed is not good news that you might be, but <laughs> besides that, um, and I tried to warn you about them. So I crossed my thoughtless heart. And I really like that switch too, just because the whole time, you know, the person that was engaging with this albatross or Taylor Swift, um, you know, they were not, they were thinking with their heart and not their head. And a lot of times you need logic in your relationships. You need that. But sometimes it's nice to see that you were right. It's almost like 
reassuring that you can trust your gut feeling sometimes. You know, the guy originally thought that the albatross was okay and only maybe shifted his mind a little bit because of the other people in his life. But this albatross, Taylor Swift, who's had every reason to not trust anyone and because, you know, everyone in her life has gone around and told her what an awful person she was. All of these things, all of these rumors, and all she did was essentially keep quiet in the situation. And then the last thing she had to do was save someone else. So then she, you know, trusts her gut, her heart in this situation and goes back and spreads her wings like a parachute. I'm the albatross. And it's almost like her saying I'm the albatross is almost like taking, um, taking back the name almost, or like the reputation in a way, because it's like, I'm spreading my wings like a parachute. I haven't really made my presence there much, but you know, when this person's in trouble, I'm gonna come save them and I'm gonna take ownership of that name. I'm gonna take that scarlet letter, or whatever you wanna say. I just think that's really cool. Like I'm the albatross, I swept in the rescue. So this whole time I've been perceived as the danger, the bad thing, but I'm coming now to rescue you and the devil that you know looks more like an angel. And that goes back to the um, earlier lyric where I was kind of talking about um, devils that you know raise worse hell than a stranger, but you chose me. So for the longest time, I was that weight on your shoulder in a way, like I'm the devil, I'm the awful person because that's what everyone thinks. But this now devil looks more like an angel. The one that was sitting on your shoulder, what everyone was perceiving as the, you know, the devil whispering in your ear was actually the angel, your guardian angel waiting just to hold you down, hold that down. And I think that's really cool. I think this could be a very, very, very veiled reference maybe to, again, the reputation era and the relationship that saved her at the time because, you know, I think some of it's a little bit different, I'm not going to say that, but it just sounds like, you know, the whole world was against this albatross, Taylor Swift, during this reputation era. Her reputation was awful, all of these things, and there was one person that, you know, was choosing to see through all of the bad that people were saying and chose to be with that person despite being locked up in those towers, maybe hiding inside for six years, um, or whatever, but you know, they figured that out. And then like when it came to something like the Great War, you know, if we remember that song from Midnight's, they fought a great war to be together. So maybe that's when she swept in at the rescue. Her reputation was getting better. She could fight back a little bit um, and became an angel and then had a really good, you know, post reputation era up until last year. We would think it's a golden age for that relationship or time period for those people. So. I'm not exactly sure that might be a little bit more unhinged, but I absolutely loved decoding this song. This is one of the ones that are interesting because is this my favorite song? No. Is this one that I will be like obsessed with listening to? I don't know, maybe, but I love it when we have songs like this that we can really like just dig deep into talking about. Um, so I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one and I bet you could probably tell. Um, but. Something that I kind of skipped over just because if I don't have a thought about it, I kind of just don't talk about it very much. But if you guys know, I'm kind of dumb sometimes. So I don't really know what persona non grata means. I'm, I don't know if that's a different language in a way or a saying. If anyone knows what that is. And then I think there was something else that I kind of just was like, annoyance. I really don't know exactly what that means to be honest. But other than that, I think we have a decent grasp on what I think the message of the song is. I don't know if I would have arrived to that point as much without basing it on that little poem that we just saw um, when we looked up what the albatross was. But, but either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in our next video.